This is how two lives were changed in a matter of minutes. Melanomas can be sneaky, hiding in plain sight. Sometimes a simple skin check makes all the difference. Let me show you two cases where we caught melanoma early because we had a closer look. Most skin cancers are spotted by the patient or a family member when they become large or bothersome. Unfortunately, by then, they're often at a more advanced stage and more likely to cause harm. In the first case, this young lady in her early 20s came in for assessment of a raised mole that she's had for years. She wanted to check if it was benign or malignant. This is what it looked like. This is what I see with the dermatoscope. After examining it, I was able to confirm it was benign and was able to reassure her. But while she was in my office, I decided to check her other moles. That's when I found this lesion on her upper back. Although it didn't look concerning at first, when I used my dermatoscope, I noticed a blue-gray color, something not typically seen in benign moles. Although symmetrical, the blue-gray color was concerning to me, so I decided it was best to remove this lesion and send it to the lab for analysis. After excision, the pathologist confirmed that this was an early thin melanoma. Now, detecting it before it had a chance to grow deeper can make the critical difference in preventing its spread. Sometimes though, the patient doesn't even realize that they have something concerning on their skin. That's what happened in this next case. This 40 year old man came in for a checkup after his friend had been diagnosed with a melanoma. When I asked him about this small dark lesion on his neck, he didn't remember having one there before. So it must have been quite new. Now, it's unusual to develop new moles after the age of 30, which is why this new mole on a 40-year-old raised concern. This graph shows how moles develop and fade away over our lifetimes. We have age along the bottom and the number of moles someone has along the vertical side. You can see there that most moles grow up over the first 30 years of life and between the ages of 30 and 40, very few new moles grow. So because this lesion was new and despite its small size at less than two millimeters, it was worthy of further inspection. So again, after applying the dermatoscope, I saw these little projections called pseudopods over at the right upper corner in this image. This was an important clue that this lesion may be a cancer. Now, after excision, it was sent to the lab for analysis again, and the pathologist confirmed it was also a thin melanoma. Thank you to both of these patients for allowing me to share their story. And they both now attend for regular skin checks, and based on recent guidance, they are considered high risk because they have had a past history of melanoma, and we perform skin checks on them every six to 12 months. The key to catching melanoma early often lies in using the right tools like dermoscopy and being vigilant about examining the entire body, not just the obvious spots. Recent guidance states you're at increased risk of skin cancers if you have fair skin, a family history of melanoma or other signs of sun damage such as actinic keratosis and it's recommended to have opportunistic skin checks when visiting your healthcare provider if possible. A thorough check by someone trained in skin lesion recognition can significantly impact your health outcomes. Melanomas aren't the only skin cancer out there. In fact, they're not even the most common. If you want to learn more about other skin cancers, check out the linked video below. Don't wait until it's too late. If you think you might be at increased risk, book in for a skin check today. It might just save your life.